Now call me a hypocrite, whatever, I don't care. I am now using Pulse Audio and Pipewire. However, I'm only using it in the context of this, my testing machine. And why am I using it? Well, Luke Smith was right. I should have listened and installed Pulse Audio. However, this was a few years ago before Pipewire became mainstream and I needed to install Pipewire as well. Why did I need to install them, you might be asking? Well, let's have a look at the screen. So you might be seeing, uh, I have open Caden Live. And Caden Live has been an interesting project over the years. It's been historically notorious for being very unreliable as a video editor. And don't get me wrong, I mean, video editors are incredibly complicated bits of software, uh, very, very, um, let's say, work intensive or developer intensive work. I'm sure the complicated nature of it means you need a lot of people, a lot of eyes on it, a lot of work. And of course, this is a free software project, okay, by KDE. Anyway, it's been great. It's been great over the years. Um, however, recently, not long after I made that video saying I do not use Pipewire, I do not use Pulse Audio, uh, Karma struck me and yes, uh, Caden Live, uh, the playback, would not give out audio. And as you know, on here, even my testing machine, I only run or had only run Alsa. So I bit the bullet and I installed Pulse Audio everything seemed to be okay for maybe one day and then Pulse Audio seemingly wasn't enough and the playback failed me again on the audio so I installed Pipewire. Everything seems to be fine now. So yes, um, I've done a complete 180. I am using Pulse Audio and Pipewire Asterix, not on my main machine. I still don't need it on my main machine, but it's a moot point maybe now. It's all academic. So what did I do to resolve my issue? So let's go through installing Pulse Audio and Pipewire and maybe things you might need to install if you haven't done already. So um, now I'm going to try and aim again to have things on the command line, have things in the TTY, have things in the terminal, um, a bit like I had for Alsa. So uh, let's look at the, first of all, the Pulse Audio. Um, and again, look over my old video if you want to look at more information on this. I mean, it's just uh, a summary, really. But it's it's a layer on top of Alsa, on top of your audio sound system, basically. Okay, <clears throat> and maybe standalone. I, I'm not exactly sure. I think because Alsa is part of the Linux kernel, is basically building on top of that. So first of all, you're going to need to install the Pulse Audio package. Make sure your packages are all up to date, sudo pacman-syu or whatever system you're running, Debian, you am sure you know how to update your repository. Then you want to install the Pulse, Pulse Audio package, uh, which is just that on Arch Linux. Now, uh, I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. There you go, 6 megs, bloat. Um, and then we want... Um, Pulse Audio Alsa, so sudo pacman dash s pulse audio Alsa. And you might be wondering why do I need Pulse Audio Alsa? Well, I don't know. The thing with Pulse Audio Alsa effectively means that the two are interoperable, so you can control your sound system for Pulse Audio using your Alsa. CLI or whatever and vice versa, I guess. Let's just put it that way. That's what it seems to be saying. For Pulse Audio to manage your ALSA and whatever. Okay, maybe the other way around. So install that. Uh, I'm not going to reinstall that. Um, okay, what else? So there's Pulse Audio kind of taken care of on that side, but we want something to be able to control it. So. I'm going to go with Pulse Mixer because I use Alsa Mixer um, and A Mixer, of course. Uh, there is also PA Mixer, Command Line Mixer. I don't know. It's interesting because they're saying Pulse Mixer's discontinued development, but if you go into their package here, um, 
Seal Iron Cursus Mixer Pulse Audio last updated late last year. So the the package is still being maintained by Arch in that way, even if the development has been discontinued. Maybe we should look at PA Mixer. Maybe I'll look at that in the near future. But just for this time, I'm going to do Pulse Mixer. Okay, so pseudo Pac-Man dash S Pulse Mixer. Again, I'm not going to reinstall it. And then you probably want to do a reboot and see how it's working. Um, but we'll look at Pulse Mixer in a moment. Uh, next, we're going to install PipeWire. So again, PipeWire again is building on top of previous uh, sound systems and is now sort of just considered the thing that makes your sound work on Linux for everything. That's the assumption. Now, there's a, a various things you can use. Uh, was it Wire Plumber with that? But um, maybe we'll do that in another video. I'm just going to install the PipeWire package and really it should just take care of itself um, but but you look into the documentation more if you have issues with your sound so let's just install the package the pipe wire package so pseudo pacman s pipe wire two megs okay I'm not going to reinstall that so let's look at pulse mix so we'll go back now now I'm on my virtual machine so Output is is the dummy output basically. Um, I need to basically pass through sound, I think, to my system, but it's working. Okay, if you want to see what it looks like normally, let's quit this. Uh, what it might look like on on a system running. So there we go. I mean, this is just a laptop. Uh, pretty simple. And you've got input F2, so forth. You've got cards. You can hit the question mark for okay. one nice thing unlike um, Alsa mixer it does use sort of some vim key bindings <clears throat> so that's nice that's nice so there you go that's it pretty much there you go working sound bit the bullet I'm a hypocrite I know I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments section but it's what it is still not using it on my main system so pulse audio pipe or installed asterisk okay that's all I'm gonna say about it now so uh, there we go, uh, we'll leave it there and uh, you can do the fake YouTube, like, comment and subscribe. And I want to give special thanks of course to my membership, that's Sean, HTX, 80 Nerd and Soul. So uh, these guys are great, they've taken out membership. I'd like to see more of you guys being on this end screen. Uh, you can look in the description for more information for Patreon and YouTube if you want to take out a membership. Uh, we'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next one.